with deadline day just three days away, we continue the journey onwards through the rest of this month. Will we make the signings that I want? Maybe not. Maybe we will. We'll have to see what happens. Welcome back. My name is The Gaming Blake and welcome back to the channel. We are doing some more Millwall career mode today. We will be bringing some more stuff to you later on this week featuring Black Ops, GTA, maybe um, WWE. We're going to see what happens. We'll, I will bring you what I can. I want to mix things up. We'll see what happens. But as it stands, we are first in the league there as we discussed last episode. We're about to get into a game against Blackpool. So let's see what lineup I've gone with. Starting in goal, I keep forgetting to change, is Jordan Archer. Joel Martin starts at left back with Reefal Shammer, who for some reason it was always the default captain in this squad, don't know why. But Beavers captains the squad with Reefal Shammer in the centre back position. Carlos Edwards starts at right back as usual. Ryan Taylor's getting his last chance if he. D is it Ryan Taylor? It's Lee Taylor, I don't know what I'm Whatever, Taylor is playing right midfield. It is his last chance to impress me before Oyadima becomes the new first team right midfielder. Sean Williams starts with Ben Thompson in the middle, pro proving to be the best centre midfield combination. Them two with Upson starting in left midfield over Shane Ferguson. And starting up top is proving to be a fantastic partnership of Naki, Wells and Lee Gregory. That's the partnership I'm starting with today. Of course, Morrison is always there as a backup option on the bench, who I'm sure will come on at some point. So let's crack on the first game of this episode. I don't know how many there'll be this episode, depending on how active deadline day is, but we'll see what happens. Let's crack on with game number one. This is the Blackpool team for this match. And we put it out here, Alan, as a 4-4-2. Would you go along with that? Well, yeah, some really nice football with, it'll be interesting. I'm not liking how they play. Does like to change um, shape at times no, that's match, dangerous. Like that's poor defending. They're in on goal. Great save by Jordan Archer. Dragged it too far wide to get a clean shot away, to be fair. But Archer has dealt with it. That's poor defending. Why do I always start off these games so poorly? He's cut inside. Defended well. Nice clearance from Edwards. Counter-attack maybe. Lee Gregory. Can Naki Wells burst the way? Of course he can. Look at the speed of Naki Wells. He's drawn in three men. He's still going though. Naki Wells needs to whip it in, looking for Lee Gregory in the box. What's happened? Oh, it's a free kick, and it looks like in a good position. Naki Wells doing well to create a chance there. Right, can we whip this in? Who's taking it? Ed Upson's going to take it. He's going to try and dink it in. Looking for someone. Oh, and it's close. Ben Thompson, I think, got the header on it there. And that was really, really close to being 1 0. Oh, quite a scramble of headers there. And inches wide of the post. The first chance of the game for Millwall. That was really, really close there. Good chance created from Naki Wells, and we Here's didn't capitalise on it really. Well, Half time, time, not many chances. I think the best here. chance coming from Ben Thompson from the free kick, which was um, a good here. one, but no That's real chances other than that. Uh, Naki Wells producing obviously yeah, the free kick, we've got the chance, the but, screen, but um, other than that, no real chances. Blackpool dominated possession. We seem to be playing off possession lately, but um, no real chances as of yet. I'm going to make one substitute. Williams is really disappointing me, and considering he's getting a lot of the ball, not doing much with it, we're going to bring on Jack Powell. Uh, I might bring on Shane Ferguson in a little while, but I'm happy with just the one change for now. And let's just jump into the second half, try and create some more chances, and try and produce a win. It's away, well done, Edwards. Gregory's laid it off to Ben Thompson. Someone needs to come, give him an option. Last chance of the game to probably be. Lee Gregory turns inside, shoots, oh, and it's the first real chance of the half, and it's so close, that's the first shot on target as well, and that is the end of the game. I really feel we could have walked away with a win there, but we played poorly. Blackpool should be easy three points, really should be a team that we can compete against, and we just played poor attacking wise, that was the only shot we had on target, I'm 100% sure of that, and it was just shambolically bad how we played today. They deserve to hold the draw. If anything, they deserve to win. Again, the only chance they show in the instant replay is this header from Ben Thompson, which was close. It looked closer on the replay, but other than that, no chances as well. Man of the match, who have they given it to? They've given it to them. Our man of the match is going to be Ben Thompson, who had a fantastic game in the middle part, creating all our chances. Not that there were many, but he was also dominating the play in the midfield. He was doing particularly well, I thought. But a poor game from us all around. Not English really many chances. That shouldn't Bradford be too hard to edit, one. should it? Right, so we are here at deadline day. We have 15k wages and 2 million 
to spend. That's 5k wages short of acquiring Jordan Lukaku. So I'm going to leave it a while, see what happens. But we might have to look for a different left back option. Right, so we are three hours in and nothing has happened. I'm assuming Jordan Lukaku is a bust. Uh, so we need to try and make a move, I feel, for a defensive player or fullback. Um, it's risky now, though, because we have no idea what any of the ratings are on these players. I'm going to have a look around the market, see what I can come up with, and see what solutions we have. Okay, so I've just inquired for a few players because nothing's really happening. Uh, we'll see what they have to say about the players. I'm not sure how much they'll be valued. But we'll see. 1.3 for Brendan Galloway. That looks the most likely. Van and Holt. This was a gamble. And of course it wasn't going to be cheap. 4.7 mil. That was understandably expensive. Wendell. I'm not sure about Wendell though. What's he valued at? 12 million? Of course not. So we'll have a go. at See if we can get Brendan Galloway for a million. That would be a nice deal I reckon. We don't have time to mess around. So if we don't get the mil we'll offer him the 1.3. This is uh, a last ditch signing, it is so true to say. But it's not like he's a good player. And we have accepted the million as good. And he's on cheap wages as well. I don't want to offer him a team role if I can help it. Because I don't want to promise him first team minutes. Especially with Joel Martin playing as well as he is at left back. Four hours left. Been pretty uneventful on our end. And he has declined because... I really can't read anymore. Uh, I need to understand the role. Right, we will offer you a squad rotation role. I don't want to offer him any more than that. It's more than what he's getting right now. But if I have to offer him an important, then that is what I'll do. But I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Is he going to accept? No, of course not. He wants a bigger role than what he is offered. Of course he does. We're offering him an important first team player. I don't want to offer him crucial because he's 19 years old and no one should be asking for that at your age, you know? We have two hours remaining. You can see some of the bigger deals going on on the side. But he has accepted important first team role. And this is the last signing of the window. Brendan Galloway signs for 1 million from Everton. A good addition to the left back. I'm not 100% sure what his rating is. But he will be a good addition. And that leaves me funds over to, do, to work on my next project. Let's have a look what rating he is. As we quickly jump into the team. 66 rated. So he's up there. Um, higher rated than uh, Joel Martin, obviously. But we will see um, how good he proves to be. He's got to work into this team because this team has a lot of competition. And that is probably going to be an uneventful deadline day over. Unless we have any last minute players that are trying to be sold. No, that's us done for the window. We signed a total of three players, I feel. It's probably one of the least eventful transfer windows I've ever done as a... Uh, on this game but that is it and what we are going to do now is we are going to spend the last of our money on some scouts now do I go with a bunch of crappy ones yeah I think I'm gonna do that I'm gonna go Josh Thomas from England then we're also gonna get uh, we got another two star two star guy here no so we'll go with the Scotland guy here Gary Magat or whatever his name is and we will go for uh, this Croatian man, don't know why I said it like that, but we will go for him, and we will be setting up scouts in England, uh, where is the other one, got to send him to my favourite nation on earth, got to send him to Belgium, produce the next best players in the world, of course, and we will also send him, let's try and keep it as UK as possible, obviously with the exception of them, let's send him to Ireland and let's see what Ireland can produce so we've got three scouts in England Ireland and Belgium to see what we can produce as mainly UK talent but the Belgians always have some good talent all right so we've got another cup game it's cup time so it's time to bring out the cup team forward starts in goal for this Johnson's paint trophy first game we have Byron Webster and Sid Nelson who's actually going very nicely there Sid Nelson he's now a silver so those two will be at centre-back. Marlon Robio starts at usual at right-back. But with left-back, the new signing of Brendan Galloway needs to prove himself to the home fans. Yeah, six foot one. I thought he was quite tall. Then we have Shane Ferguson starting at left midfield while he's fresh with Ben Thompson and Jack Powell in the middle with Fred Oyedima starting at right midfield. And the usual striking cup partnership of Steve Morrison 
and Jamie Philpott. I'm waiting for Philpott to score his first goal. And I'm just going to go crazy. It looks like we are going to do three games this episode because nothing incredible has happened. Maybe I'm actually just going to do two. Yeah, I think I'll do two for today. So this is going to be the last game of the episode with signings taking into consideration. So this is going to be the final game of the episode here in the JPT against Carlisle United. Let's see how it goes and let's jump into the game. Not and the debut of Brendan Galloway has got the fans player, excited a million pounds. A reasonable oh, deal, but he's 19 years old. It is an experimental days, player. Like Let's see what Brendan Galloway can produce for us as we get this cup game underway. Let's see if we can get a run in the JPT. I reckon we could go on to win the JPT. So we had a decent run in today. real life, making it to the it regional here. finals. Four, is it region or area finals? Yeah, Whatever, we made it to some kind of final. Like uh, so let's just hope that we can do one like better than that and go to the finals we'll and maybe win we'll it ourselves. Like but as I'm talking, they're attacking and I probably should shut up. Days. Days. Jamie Philpot has pushed himself wide right, and with no that. dribbling ability whatsoever, really what was I expecting? That's a good pass from Galloway, actually. Morrison, 1-2 maybe with Jack Powell. He's found him again. Morrison strikes it early, and it's not a bad strike. It hasn't gone over the bar, though. Uh, maybe had more time to touch that, but he's dragged it wide. And if we look at the camera, not that far wide either. It just clips the post by the look of the camera. But that's a very decent chance for the first strike of the game. Steve Morrison trying to prove himself a cut, play cut player right now. Hopefully not for much longer if he can continue to prove himself. Does love having the ball, this fella. Just lent it to his teammate for a moment. It was good oh no, that's a attack. foul, but we've played advantage. The a good now. ball in. Well cleared by Thompson. Well, and they've actually the scored, haven't they? Oh my it's god. How has that managed to fall through Ford's legs as he sits down? Carlisle United getting the first goal this game. They played the advantage well. It's a great cross in. Headed away by Thompson, but not good enough. And it's actually fallen through Ford's legs. That is well, poor goal goalkeeper. Look, he falls on it and it's again, gone it? under his legs. That is poor goalkeeping. So we goal are now down more. to a goal by Asamoah. I think it's Asamoah. That, yeah, that's definitely how it's pronounced. If it's not, I'm going to look stupid, but still. We are a goal down Angelo to Balanta. Carlisle United. Not a yeah, good start. Another good cross in. Cleared away this time. Not convincingly that's enough. It. And that's, that's another the chance they've had. The, the crossing defence is poor. We can't get rid of the ball when it comes in. Oh, Ford's done it again. Oh, Ford, no. Well done, Romeo. No, poor pass. To make the change pass, now, they need to get sharper, man. Let's go. Now Ref, that is a foul that all day long. That's kick. a card as well. Thank you very much. All right, free kick. Sid Nelson's whipping it in for some reason. A decent ball in, though. Break and that's our first strike at goal. Goalkeeper. It came off the head of Morrison, but not really any power in it. And that was never really going in. Ferguson. Oh, this is beautiful Great football. Passing. Morrison the spots the runner. Shane Ferguson strikes it early. A good save from the keeper. An keeper. ambitious try from He's Shane Ferguson, but he did cause the keeper some problems. Can we throw it in now? Do we have a long throw trait on anyone? I don't think so. Steve Morrison. Morrison. Now Powell. Jack Powell. Poor pass. Well, well, let's go. Get a few <sighs> in for this boy. Fred, man. Fred, do something. Ed, well done. Morrison, let's go. Running out of opportunities, running out of time. But Shane Ferguson looking to create some more. Jack Powell strikes it from distance. Keepers parried it straight at him, though. He really made a meal out of that. Jack Powell creating some more shots at goal, which is what we need. We're whipping this in with Shane Ferguson. It's a decent ball. Oh, and the looping header from Philpot has gone over the bar. He's made a meal out of that one as well, to be fair. Jamie Philpot just isn't going to find the net I feel and it looks like we are going to be taking our first L in this series I really hope that's not the case but I think that's game and it is game a deserved win for Carlisle they defended with their lives they played really well we played atrociously attacking wise still no goals in this episode for us uh, Asamoa ended the goal drought and uh, that's not good for us because we were on the receiving end. Shane Ferguson, highest rate player for us, deservedly so. Their goalkeeper received man of the match with five saves. But again, they're not real saves, to be honest. They were not saves at all. And we're going to leave it there today with no goals in this episode. It might be a shorter one than usual because there aren't really that many highlights. 
But the main purpose of this one was that transfer day has ended and this is the team we are stuck with now. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like on it. If we can reach five likes by tomorrow, that'll be fantastic. We've done so on every episode so far. So far. So far. So let's hope we can keep that trend going. Again, let me know if there's anything you want to see. There will be some new stuff coming to you very soon. So let me know. If you're liking this, this will prioritize. And make sure you let me know what you're enjoying and what you're not. I'm out for today. We're leaving it fourth when we came in at first. Disappointing, but still only one loss in the cup. I can live with that for today. That's me done for today. Peace.